Well, quality is not going to be great, but I just want to read something from about the last show. It was Greenville on the 19th. The last show was a good one. This is the uh, Greenville News by Mr. Joe Earl, Piedmont staff writer. About Lynn Skinner. The group was the epitome of Southern Rock. The top. And the show, John Weeboo, said it was a good one. It's mispronounced his name. Lynn Skinner, a seven man rock and roll band, played the Wednesday at Greenville Memorial Auditorium. It may have been the band's last. Thursday, plane carrying the band to its next show crash in Mississippi. Gilbert, my band. Lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist Steve Gaines, backup singer Cassie Gaines were killed, along with Dean Kilpatrick and himself. Band members Gary Rosington, Leon Workerson, Alan Collins, Billy Powell, Thomas Artemis Powell were injured. The band spent most of the night, most of Thursday in Greenville, said Les Timmons. Auditorium Executive Director and left for the uh, Louisiana show at mid afternoon at Greenville Downtown Airport. Timmons said he thought drummer Powell wanted to visit his family in his partner. Actually, that was up in uh, Camping Battle, and he did. Wow. Weeble, I think that's his name, a 21 year old Greenville text student who calls himself a Leonard Skinner fanatic, has seen the band perform six times. That's in 97, I mean 77, so he was a big fan, including four shows in South Carolina. They all were electric. As far as Southern Rock and Roll goes, they were top. I'll agree with that. He said, I was kind of a student of bands that he sings about the old ways, about jumping trains in the old south, and about how the south is getting away. How the south, you know, culture is getting away. He's just wild. He doesn't give a damn. He just sings it and doesn't give a damn. I've seen him enough to know. We mean wild bull. W I B E L. 17 year old Sherry Jurgen and 25 year old Brian Porter went to concert to prepare an article on the band for text. Greenville Tech, a student newspaper, which I'm sure got the front page. Uh, it was a good show because the crowd said, I've seen him as far as away as Philadelphia in the big city. They're commercial. In Grumble, they can feel more of the crowd. A band, he said, has a reputation for playing whiskey rock and roll. It meshed with the Grumble crowd because there were a lot of whiskey drinkers in Grumble. Approximately 5,600 5, people attended the show. That's a massive crowd, brother. So I was on tour in back then. Uh, it was a vocal show. A put some crowd to text and said there was a lot of Confederate rap flags in the crowd. I said, move past them, but by the time I did. And he said, for the last show, he said it was pretty damn good. Thank you.